Hi, I'm Amir Hossein, Mirza Bozorg, and in this video, I want to talk about performing static and quasi-static analysis by using dynamic steps in Abacus. This is the table of content. I will talk about explanation of 3D nonlinear static problem. Then I will talk about explanation of tutorial content. And finally, I will talk about tutorial description. This is the preview of one of our premium tutorials named Performing Aesthetic and Quasi-Aesthetic Analysis by Using Dynamic Steps in Abacus. In this tutorial, the way of using dynamic steps for solving aesthetic and quasi-aesthetic problems are explained in detail, including solving an example. In problems that the simulation cannot be completed by using a static general step because of arising convergency issues, dynamic steps such as dynamic implicit and dynamic explicit can be used to avoid convergency issues. In this tutorial, a 3D nonlinear static problem is solved by using a static general, dynamic implicit and dynamic explicit steps and finally the results are compared. The problem consists of a thick aluminium plate and a rigid punch. This is the thick aluminium plate and this is the rigid punch. The rigid punch will penetrate into the plate and causes plastic deformation. The procedure is slow enough to assume it quasi-static. Loading is applied by using a hydraulic jack. All of the lateral faces of the plate are fixed. All of the lateral faces of the plate are fixed and the punch will penetrate the plate. Now I want to talk about tutorial content. As the time period of static and quasi-static problems are too large in comparison with dynamic problems, when you are using dynamic explicit step, there are two main methods for decreasing the simulation time and obtaining the results sooner. These methods are loading rates technique and mass scaling technique. In this tutorial, both of these methods are explained in detail. The problem is solved four times as described below and then compared to each other. It is solved by using a static general step and by using dynamic explicit step and loading rates technique and by using dynamic explicit step and mass scaling technique and finally it is solved by using dynamic implicit step. In this picture, Mises stress contours of four set of results are compared to each other. This contour is related to a static general step. This contour is related to dynamic explicit step and loading rates technique. This contour is related to dynamic explicit step and mass scaling technique. And finally, this contour is related to dynamic implicit step. In this picture, four set of force displacement curves are compared to each other. All of three force displacement curves that are obtained by using dynamic steps are in good agreement with the force displacement curve of a static general step. At the end of the tutorial, all of the force displacement curves are plotted and compared to each other. Now I want to talk about tutorial description. Descriptions of the premium video are listed below. Its duration is 1 hour and 15 minutes. Its total size is 345 megabytes. And the tutor is Amir Hossein Mirzabazur. You can contact me by using Telegram or WhatsApp or send email to me. We can have one-on-one -on -one tutoring on any desk, WhatsApp, and I can make a special tutorials to your order. We can perform high quality simulations for your thesis, exercises, and industrial projects. Now I want to suggest you several videos of our YouTube channel that are related to this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a good time. Goodbye.